Today, surrounded by all of your loved ones, I chose you to be my husband. I am proud to be your wife and to join my life with yours. I vow to support you, inspire you, and love you always. I will be by your side for better or worse. You are my one and only today and every day. I love you. Nang namita ka, na-amaze gitu tayo sa'yo mo. Beauty, and then personality. Kaya pwede ka pisan, kabuod, kas makinsindigid sa akong sitwasyon. Giselle, do you take Ray as your own husband, submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of your household for the rest of your lives? Yes, Pastor. Three years ago, I request ko sa Facebook, and thanks God, ginagserve mo ko. And three years ago, daw sang sana ulit na dakpan ni Tito sa kay Sano. <laughs> ano ano, Papa na subong. Do you think, Jesus? As your own wife, as your own flesh to love here, even as Christ loves the church, to protect her and care for her the rest of your lives? Yes, Pastor. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 12. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. The most important element that is missing in a lot of marriages is Christ. Christ-centered marriages are strong, are very strong.
The intention of God for marriage is that it should last for a lifetime. That's why we vow to love and cherish each other for richer or for poorer in sickness or in health, for better or for worse. What God has joined together, let no man separate.